Good day folks, welcome back to my channel and as always, thank you so much for watching. Today I bring you yet another brand new product by AEA, a brand who is absolutely on fire at the moment, releasing new PCP guns and rifles almost on a weekly basis. A big thank you to Bluegrass Big Boar Air Guns for sending this over. Bluegrass is truly amazing. They carry all the coolest and most powerful air guns in the world, most of which I review right here on the channel. So again, a huge thank you to Bluegrass Big Boar, as always. All right, folks, let's start with our tunnel of destruction. Five stainless steel trays put in a row. All right, folks, well, these things hit hard. Doesn't seem like they penetrated anything, but they pretty much deformed everything, or at least this first tray. Intense deformation. I don't know how it went. Again, it, it broke the first rail. So it only affected two of the stainless steel trays Again, no full penetration, but a lot of deformation. Well, one thing's for sure, this gun is loud and kicks like a mule. Some serious recoil for being an air gun. Okay, where to start with this thing? Well, first off, as the name says, this thing is made to shoot harpoons. Where are the harpoons? Well, they're not out just yet. Remember, this gun was literally released days ago. Um, of course, to shoot harpoons, you want to be able to shoot this thing underwater. All right, guys, time to see how this thing does underwater. Um, so I filled up these two and a half gallon plastic water jugs uh, with tap water and I put some coloring in it. So we'll see if indeed uh, there will be some penetration or not. Right there we have an underwater camera which, sh which will be pointing on the water jugs, which I'm gonna put in right now. All right, folks, here we go. Wish me luck. First time trying to shoot this thing underwater. I'm gonna shoot one barrel at a time. All right, so as we saw from about three quarters distance of the pool, it was a bit too far for the slugs. Obviously, the harpoons should do a lot better, which are designed for underwater. Right now, we're just kind of experimenting how this thing shoots underwater. So I have two more, and we're gonna get a bit closer and see if it can be more effective. So yes, indeed, my friends. 
we did indeed penetrate the water jug all the way across but uh basically no water came out so we didn't have that visual effect because uh because the water pressure was keeping the colored water inside so no visual effect but complete penetration from one slug out of four we will get to the details and specs in a minute but this gun runs on a system that is very similar to the AEA Defender, for those of you who know it, yet it is said to be enormously improved. The Harpoon at the moment comes in 45 and 50 caliber, but Bintac says that 58 and 72 calibers are in the making. AEA calls those the shot shell version. This thing comes in two barrel sizes, the 4 inch and the 11 inch. With the 11 inch being more specific for the harpoons. while the four inch barrel turn it into this futuristic cowboy pistol looking thing. Today we're shooting two different types of ammo, both made by Texoma Precision Pellets or TPP, which is the brand that AEA really recommends uh, for its guns. And today we have these 300 grain round nose slugs and these smaller 155 grain hollow skirts. All right, folks, it's ballistic gel time with this a bit deformed uh, transparent ballistic gel with the addition of another ballistic gel right behind it. Um, these are both sponsored by Clear Ballistics. Thank you so much, Clear Ballistics. They always provide the gel to us. Um, this one right here, as you see, is very milky. It's because I recycle the, the gel. I recycled this one a bit too much, once too many times. Anyway, let's see um, how many of these our gun will go through. All right, I think I forgot to mention, guys, that these are 10% uh, ballistic gel blocks. Anyway, I switched them around uh, because, as you see from this one right here, we went across with both shots, uh, but I only see one pellet that was caught here. So anyway, switch them around. Let's see if we can catch the pellet with that one right there. All right, folks, it is so hot, it is hard to think. Anyway, um, we have a couple pellets in here. You probably saw it better on the slow motion, which I've yet to rewatch, so I don't know exactly what happened. We have two of the 300 uh, grain, the big pellets, and, and this milky one, which was in the backside. While here we have one of the uh, 155 grain, the smaller pellets, which went through the first and stopped just about an inch, an inch and a half into the second block. Um, I shot a couple more. I don't know if I missed or they just kind of went off track. But uh, guys, this is the results with the 10% ballistic gel by Clear Ballistics. A pretty cool detail of this pistol is this selecting lever right here, which allows you to choose if you want to shoot uh, one from one barrel at a time or if you want to shoot both barrels simultaneously. Um, which is something uh, familiar for those of you who already know the 68 caliber Umarex HDS 68, which has the similar lever and concept. 
double barrels. All right, let's switch to double barrel and see what two barrels will do to that watermelon. Two more? Why not? So right here is the safety lever and it has this nice long Picatinny rail all along the uh, barrel shroud and a smaller Picatinny rail here on the bottom. It also ha has this iron rear sight looking thing. It doesn't have anything on the front, but um, obviously in order to see through it, you would have to unscrew the Picatinny rail. So this PCP or pre-charged pneumatic pistol is quite different from your average PCP air guns. For starters, it doesn't have a tank. Why? Well, because these red cartridges right here are the tank and they hold an 11 cc capacity of pressurized air that top off at 5,000 PSI. Yes, indeed, 5,000 PSI. Now, how do you load them? Well, again, these are tanks and the, gun, and the box comes with this filling probe which you screw into your cartridge. And you fill in your air from here, but we will get to that in a second. Now, before you put in uh, air into the cartridge, as you see, the back side has a hole in it. Um, so what we do is we insert one of these discs right here, metal discs right here. Now, as you see, the hole is now nice and sealed off by the metal disc. Um, and we'll see why that is again in a second. Um, okay, so now we are ready to fill in the cartridge. Once we filled it up, we can unscrew the probe and we screw in this little plastic piece, which I'm going to call ammo holder for lack of a better word. Screw it in like that and you stick in your pellet right inside of it, just as so. And now your cartridge is ready to go. Let's do the other one. Fill it up with air. Once it's full, unscrew the probe. Ammo holder. Insert the ammo. All right, now we have both cartridges full of air and loaded. And we just stick them into our gun, just as so. And voila, the gun is loaded. Now, as you saw, we only have two shots. Um, however, you can buy as many as the, of these as you want. I think they're in the $30 each uh, price range. But again, you can buy as many as these as you want and you just reload the gun as you go. So the way it works, uh, when you pull the trigger, uh, the gun has a pin which pierces the metal uh, disc right here, releasing all the pressure towards the front, which shoots out your projectile. Now, let's be honest. Not many of us have compressors or air tanks that reach 5,000 PSI. Most of them uh, top off at 4,500 PSI. Of course, there's the hand pump, but in my personal experience, hand pumps are a nightmare and simply not worth all that physical work. I personally have uh, this tank right here. As you see, it's a double decker with two fans by Vevor. This one will reach 5,000 PSI, but again, most uh, don't. So to, in today's video, most shots will be taken uh, at 5,000 PSI. Uh, however, 
uh, you can also shoot at 4,500 PSI. We'll also be shooting this gun at 4,500 PSI as well. All right, folks, so I have these two cartridges which are filled at 5,000 PSI at their max. So let's see what numbers we get through the chronograph with these. As always, we'll be measuring the speed of the pellets. These are the, the very heavy ones, 300 grain. Uh, so we'll be measuring their speed in feet per second. And after that, we'll be calculating their foot pound energy and joules power. Allow me a quick shout out to a very fun YouTube channel, Painted Peppers Air Guns. Um, if you are in for a good laugh, some fun entertainment, and some good accuracy, head over to Painted Peppers Air Guns YouTube channel, uh, brought to you from across the pond. Guys, let me know what you thought about this gun and about this video. I must point out that there was absolutely no failures, no flaws. Everything went super smooth, uh, unlike uh, my experience with uh, Defender, for example. So again, uh, not a single failure. And uh, today I shot this gun only with the four inch barrels, as you've seen, uh, given that the harpoons haven't come in yet. So I figured to test this gun uh, in its pistol version. We'll get to the harpoons. Uh, as we saw, the power was what, around 120 foot pound energy FPE. Uh, not bad at all. And again, it really has a kick to it and it's very, very loud. Surely adding the longer barrels would have given it a much higher power or much higher velocity as well. Uh, but we'll see that next time. We had a quick glance at the underwater capability of this gun. Uh, but guys, as soon as the harpoons come in, I'll dedicate a full underwater video with this thing using the 11 inch barrels. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned for that and that you're subscribed to the channel. Guys, thank you for clicking that like button if you did indeed like this video and for watching uh, this video. And thank you so, so much. And I'll see you guys at the next one.